Hello, thank you both for joining us today. Uh, my name is Winnie David. I am the faculty information systems manager. And today I have with me Delisle Bowen, who is our applications and data specialist, and Allison Saul, who is the director of faculty services here at the Office of Faculty Affairs. So this is the UNLV Folio Reviewer Annual Evaluation Training. I do want to let you know that this session is being recorded so that we can post it to our website um, in, in the next week or so. So on today's agenda, what we have for starters, we'll go over the general workflow that most units use for the annual evaluation process. We'll then talk about the faculty member submission and what happens once the faculty member submits their packet. We'll then go over the annual evaluation report generation and consultation step and understand how the chair supervisor will complete their review. We'll then go over an important step, which is sending the case forward, and that allows the workflow to continue in UNLV Folio. We'll then go over the Dean's review and their responsibility as a reviewer. Lastly, we'll, one of the last things we'll do is cover downloading a copy of the fully executed annual evaluation report for your records. And then I'll conclude with a timeline of important dates uh, related to the annual evaluation process and point you to the resources and training page. So there are some exceptions, but for the most part, the same general workflow applies for colleges with departments. The workflow begins once the faculty member submits their FAR VITA, which contains activities from January 1st through December 31st. After the FAR is submitted, it moves to step one, annual evaluation report generation and consultation step. And during this step, the chair supervisor completes the annual evaluation report form and has a consultation with the faculty member to go over the report. Uh, once the report is finalized, the faculty member will go back into UNLV Folio and complete the annual evaluation report faculty member sign off form. And then they'll let their chair know, chair supervisor know that um, they've completed this portion and the case can then be sent forward. So once the chair supervisor sends the case forward to the dean, the dean is able to complete the annual evaluation dean sign off form. And we ask that this be completed by March 15th. Once the dean has finished their portion of their review and sent the case forward, the case then becomes accessible to the faculty affairs and in our office, we review the case for any issues. If there are any issues, such as the faculty member has submitted a rejoinder or peer review, then that will, the case will move through a separate process outside of UNLV Folio. If there's no issues, then we work on closing the case after June 1st. The others who also get access during this step are the faculty member and the chair supervisor. So both the faculty member and the chair supervisor should print a copy uh, of their fully executed evaluation for um, their own records. For units without departments, department chairs and other administrators who report to the Dean, the workflow is slightly different in that there are only two steps in the workflow. The Dean completes the annual evaluation report form and then has a consultation with the faculty member. And then the case is considered to be fully executed. For other units who have additional reviewer, reviewers, there are a few more steps, but they also follow a similar general workflow as the one we just discussed. So in our training session for faculty, we went over going over went over the faculty members' responsibilities to enter and update their profile and activity information in their FAR, and we also provided some best practices for them and pointed them to some resources. I will be demonstrating the faculty members' responsibility in updating or entering their activities or submitting their packet. But what we will go over is the chair supervisor's responsibility to complete the annual evaluation report form. 
But before we can do that, I just wanted to go over what happens once the faculty member does submit their packet and that the chair or supervisor is notified that the case is now ready for their review. So we'll go over that next. So once the faculty member has submitted any section of their packet, the reviewers at the first step in the workflow are notified, and this is generally the chair or the supervisor. Um, there are some exceptions. Once you receive this notification, you can click the sign in link directly from the email uh, to log into UNLV Folio and be taken to the, the faculty member's case. There are alternative ways to access the case, which we'll go over next. So, once the faculty member has submitted their case and it is now at the first step in the workflow, you'll see it listed on your dashboard. You'll see the faculty member's name and you can click on the faculty member's name on your dashboard to open up their case. The other way to access the case would be by clicking cases in the navigation menu. And then the cases page will open and you'll click on the faculty member's name to open their case. Once their case is open, I do want to point you to three important areas. The first is the case materials tab, which basically provides access to everything that the faculty member submitted as part of their packet. Um, this year, they have the requirement of their faculty 180 Vita. They have can optionally attach any supplemental materials as well as a COVID-19 impact statement. While the COVID-19 impact statement is optional, it's definitely and strongly encourage that they complete that. The next important area that I want to point you to is the case details tab. And on this tab, it provides instructions of what's required at your review step um, at that specific step in the workflow. And it also, if down below, you'll see the required items such as a form, etc., for the um, workflow step. You can also click on the read case button on the case materials tab to open up the reader and see all of the different information that the faculty member included as part of their FAR, um, if they've added any supplemental materials and their COVID-19 impact statement is viewable as well. To demonstrate this, um, as we went over on the previous slide, the case materials tab, there's a case details tab, on the case materials tab, we see that this in this demonstration, the faculty member submitted their FAR, supplemental materials, and a COVID-19 impact statement. All of those sections are locked. However, if the faculty member reaches out to you and um, indicates that they might need to make a change or an update to their FAR, you can go ahead and go in and unlock the packet as long as they've submitted it to you. And it's still at your review step as a chair or supervisor. You would just click the unlock button. If you scroll down further on this tab, you'll see the different steps in the workflow, which are the chair, supervisor, and faculty member review, the review by the dean, and then the fully executed evaluation submission. If we're ready to review the faculty annual achievement report that the faculty member submitted, we can click directly on the link inside of that section, or we can click the read case button. So the reader will open up. And you'll automatically see the FAR Vita. You can go ahead and scroll through and see the different information provided. You can also access the supplemental materials. and the COVID-19 impact statement that the faculty member submitted. After you're done reviewing all of the information and you're ready to write up the report, you'll click on the return to case button in the upper right corner. You'll navigate to the case details tab. And when you click on this tab, you'll first see a diagram of um, indicating where the case is in the workflow. Here we see it's at the step one, chair supervisor step. And if you scroll down below, you'll see instructions on what is required at that review step. 
It's basically everything that we're going over in this training session, but step by step. Below the instructions is the required item section. And you'll see that you have the um, ability to uh, fill out the form for the uh, faculty member. In this case, this faculty member is a non tenure track faculty member. However, uh, for the different tenure status of your faculty, the correct form will be associated with their case. So when you're ready, you'll click the fill out form button. And then you'll go through and complete the evaluation form for the faculty member. You'll want to ensure that you've completed all of the required items, and that's indicated by the asterisk next to the question. So once you're done with the form, you can um, add your type in your name into the chair supervisor um, text field. This signifies your electronic signature. And then you'll complete the date. You have two options. You can submit the form, or if you'd like to return to the form to make adjustments at a later time, you can save your responses. Um, the faculty member will not be able to see your form until you submit it. If you are working on this form for quite a long time, you should definitely save your responses often. Due to system timeout, we don't want to lose any work. Um, so you should click the save responses button when you're ready. You'll click the submit form button. And yes, to confirm. Okay, so we went over the chair or supervisor's responsibility of completing the annual evaluation report form. After this is completed, the chair supervisor should arrange a meeting or some sort of way to consult with the faculty member about the annual evaluation report. Uh, since this is up to the discretion of the chair supervisor, I won't be covering that here in our session today. Um, once they do meet with the faculty member and the report is finalized, they should advise the faculty member to return to UNLV Folio to complete the faculty member sign off form. Uh, and once that's done, again, I won't be demonstrating that in today's session. But once the faculty member has submitted the form and let their chair supervisor know that it is completed, then the chair supervisor can send the case forward to the dean. So sending the case forward is um, pretty straightforward. On the faculty member's case, you'll see the send case button at the upper right corner of the screen. You'll want to click the send case button and the forward to college dean review option. I'll demonstrate this on the next slide. Oh, sorry. One thing I forgot, say if the faculty member has not submitted their form, the faculty sign off form, and you try to send the case forward, you'll receive a message indicating that the requirements aren't haven't been met. Uh, so um, here we see that the faculty member sign off form is missing. So then you'll want to reach out to the faculty member and let them know that they need to still complete that requirement. So to send the case forward, you'll want to click the send case button. 
forward to College Dean Review. And then you have the option to send a email notification to the those receiving access to the case, which is the dean in this situation or in this step. Um, I'll enter in a subject, Scarlet Gray's case. You can customize the message you'd like to send. And then you also have the option to not send a message by unchecking the checkbox. For this example, I will send a message and I'll click continue. Once you've sent the case forward, the chair supervisor does not have access to the case anymore. Um, and it is now at the Dean review step. So, if you are a Dean who is completing the annual evaluation Dean sign off form, this is what would it would look like for you. You'd want to navigate to the cases button or optionally you can click on the faculty members case, um, case directly from your dashboard. Similar to what we saw earlier during the chair supervisor step, the Dean reviewer also has access to the case materials tab, the case details tab, and the read case button. We'll click on the read case button to review all of the faculty members um, information that they submitted as part of their packet. We see the supplemental materials as well as the COVID-19 impact statement. I also now have access to the report that the chair supervisor generated. And I'll go ahead and review it. And I can see also that the faculty member, Scarlett Gray, completed the sign off form. So when I'm ready to complete the Dean sign off form, I, I click the return to case button. Go to the net case details tab. Again, I see the diagram indicating where the case is in the workflow. Scrolling down our instructions and then the required items indicates that I can fill out the form for the Dean sign off. So I'll click the fill out form button. Add my comments if any. And then I'll type in my name to signify my electronic signature and provide the date. Again, you have the option to save your responses if you'd like to come back before submitting the form, or you should, you, when you're ready, you'll click the submit form button. And then yes to confirm. So before sending the case forward, the Dean has the option to print a copy of the evaluation for their records. On the next slide, I'll be covering how to print. So I will show that here in this demonstration, but I will go ahead and show sending the case forward. So you wanna click send case and forward to fully executed annual evaluation submission. Again, you have the option to send a message. I'll do Scarlet Gray's faculty, or sorry, fully executed evaluation. And this again will go, to, this message will go to the faculty member, the department chair, and the um, Office of Faculty Affairs who are now all receiving access to the case. So when you're ready, you'll click continue. And now the Dean does not have any access to the case anymore. It's now with the faculty member chair supervisor and the office of faculty affairs. So we did receive a few um, messages about this issue with forms. 
in that some forms aren't appearing in UNLV folio. And it kind of appears as a screenshot here in this on the slide. But we do have some recommendations to remedy this issue. If this happens to you, you can try using another recommended browser. So if you're using Chrome, try Mozilla Firefox or vice versa. You can also try using an incognito or private browser mode and log into UNLV Folio and complete your form that way. You can also try using a different computer and browser. And then fourth, if you can try to clear your cookies or cache. One of these solutions should work, but in the event that it doesn't, definitely reach out to UNLV Folio support and we'll work with you and the vendor if needed to be able to fill out the form. Okay, so we went over the chair's responsibilities as well as the dean's responsibilities. And now the case is, as I mentioned, with the Office of Faculty Affairs. Since it's the Office of Faculty Affairs who reviews the case and um, not really a reviewer's responsibility, we won't be covering that in this session. But what we will go over is printing a copy or downloading a copy of the fully executed evaluation. Again, this should be done by June 1st for the faculty member and the chair supervisor, as uh, after that date, we work on closing out the cases. So downloading a copy of the evaluation is fairly simple. From the faculty member's case page, you'll wanna click on the read case button. And then you'll click on the download button, download packet. And then you have the option to select all of the materials that are a part of the packet, or at a minimum, we, we recommend that you, you download the, the annual evaluation report form, as well as the faculty member sign off and the Dean sign off. In this example, I'm gonna click select all and download PDF. Once the download is complete, you'll receive an email notification from UNLV Folio with the link to download those materials. Or from your homepage in UNLV Folio, you can log in and download the documents there. Okay, this is about the, it for our training session. I do want to finish up with some important dates. Um, Today, this is our last session for training, but these will be record, these are recorded and will be posting it to our website. Um, beginning December 13th, we will be notifying faculty of their annual evaluation cases. And then January 2nd through the 29th, the faculty member has uh, time to complete their FAR and submit it to their supervisors. This is a general timeline and your unit might have um, different time specific deadlines. So definitely pay attention to those rather than our general timeline. Uh, February 1st through the 26th, the supervisor completes the annual evaluation report and reviews it with the faculty member. Uh, and the faculty member should complete that sign off form in UNLV Folio. March 1st through the 15th, the Dean reviews and signs off on the annual evaluation reports for all, all of the faculty in their unit. And this should be done by March 15th. And then we have on here the June 1st deadline for chairs and supervisors and the faculty member to print or download a copy of the evaluation for their records. Last thing I wanted to mention that you can get one on one help if you get stuck at any time uh, with UNLV Folio or if you have any questions, we're here to help. You can book a one on one appointment with us from our resources and training page, or you can um, send us an email and we'll get that set up. We also have user guides and videos posted to our training page uh, for you to reference uh, as you complete the annual evaluation reports and sign offs. Um, we have listed here our UNLV Folio email, which is unlvfolio at unlv.edu. And our number is 702-895-4457. If you have any questions that you need answered, you can reach out to us that way as well.